Okay, I want to share with you before Yom Tif an amazing insight into the remez of the Dalad Minim. There's a Pasuk in Shir Hashirim. Amarti ele bisamar ele. Is Rashi Tevois, Esraig, Arava, Lulav, Hadasim. Says the stipler going in the Berchas Peretz. Esraig, Arava, Lulav, Hadas. Why ele bisamar? Tamar is the Lulav. Because you make the bracha on the Lulav, the focus is on the Lulav. The stipler says that Esraig is Rashi Tevois. Al Tivayeni Regal Gava, do not bring me to the foot of arrogance. So the Esroig instills and engenders humility. Lulav, says the stipler, you could add, is Rashi Tevois. Vitaher Libenu Leavdecha Be'emes. Purify our heart to serve you in truth. Anaf it's Avois, the Hadasim, Avois Rashi Tevois. Tarhiveni Benafshi Oiz. Gird my soul with strength. Arve Nochal. Nachal is Rashi Tevois, Nafshenu Chiksal Hashem. Our soul yearns for Hashem. Say the following Ha'ara, interesting Ha'ara. You know, on the one hand, the Esrog reminds us to be humble. On the other hand, the Hadasim inspire us to be bold and to be creative and to have ambition in Ruchnias. Uh, Nachal stands for Nafshen Chiksal Hashem to yearn for Hakadosh Baruch Hu, to purify our heart, to serve Hashem in truth. So it suggests as follows: You know, the Neshama has a certain capacity. It has capacity for greatness. It has capacity to for great ambition, for great achievement and accomplishment in this world. However, you have to make sure you're channeling it correctly. You don't want to channel it to false arrogance, to emptiness, to empty pursuits. So if you use the Esraig to keep your soul in check of al Tivayeni Regal Gava, then it will allow you to focus your spiritual energy toward real achievement, to be bold in Ruchnias, Tarhiveni Benavshi Oiz, Nachal Nafshinu Chiksal Hashem Betar Libeinu Leavdecha Be'emes. You know, it's interesting, I saw the same type of idea in the last Pasuk in the Chumash. Rashi says, He had great ambition, his heart carried him to break the Luchas before the eyes of Klal Yisrael. It's interesting that the most humble man who ever lived was also the most bold man who ever lived. He had the Gaiva uh, de Kedusha. He had the boldness, the creativity to go out on a limb where Hashem didn't tell him to do it, but then Hashem said, you did the right thing, Yashar Kaychacha. Is it a coincidence that the most humble man who ever lived was also the most spiritually bold man who ever lived? No, it's, it's one idea. A person should not use up and deplete his spiritual energy on empty arrogance. But if a person focuses his energy to always remain humble, then the neshama will, will be able to express it, itself with great nesiyus lev. If a person is careful, al tivayeni regal gava, then there'll be zoicha tarhiveni benafshi oiz, and nafshenu chiksal Hashem, and v'taher libenu la'avdecha be'emes. Wishing everyone, achakosh v'sameach.